Hello and welcome to Noma God's Journey. Today we're gonna finally start working on the uh, hero's journey again. And uh, what better place to start than here with Tabron Calodrera and his uh, pimped mustache? There, it is uh, gonna be fun. I think uh, we are clearly over leveled for uh, this level seventy-five to eighty-five content, uh, but it will be fast. <laughs> It'll be fast. Uh, so let me look here. This is the achievement we're going for today. The Herald of Ocean Green Hills, uh, 75 to 80. There's three quests here. Two quests with another guy and two quests with another guy. Shh. I don't know. I've never done these before, so it's going to be fun to see. Uh, this is the uh, the next stage in the hero's journey that we are from where we were. Uh, where? Really? Con? Can I not even do that? Oh, you know what? I'm invisible, and they don't see invis. Let's see. Tabron smiles at you. Through the greeting in is neither warm nor friendly. Greetings, Outlander. Your presence has attracted much attention here in Ocean Green. These are dark times, and we are beset by enemies from all directions. What enemies? Indeed. We face many enemies here in Ocean Green. But I fear the growing plague may be at the worst of all. We've seen the diseased animals roaming the hills nearby, and I fear their contagion could spread to our fallen warriors. I hear rumors of walking dead at night. What plague are you talking about? Let's see here. The curing of this pestilence is my highest order. Karana demands it. All right, then we get the task. Does this look infected? All right. Loot infected organs from animals and loot undamaged animal organs. All right, we got that one. And I'm going to try to double, double some of these up just so that we're kind of getting some overlap here. Archon Dorania Althus. Hail. She raises her hand. All right, so she's not going to give us that quest until we uh, do some work for the other guys. So let's look out here. I think there's a guy. Uh, I thought I saw a guy out here. There's a sergeant we need to talk to. Maybe he's in here. Nope. Yeah, so I decided to do these because we're going to start uh, doing these on my monk and I kind of want to get a handle on what we're going to actually encounter uh for that character because I'm told these are pretty hard at end current you know end level so just want to get some kind of general idea I guess uh, I don't see the other guy so not a big deal what was his name anyway uh achievements sergeant Bronal. uh sergeant Bronal. I don't even see him. I don't see him there. Oh, he's way down there. Okay, so not even something we need to worry about right now. All right, so um, we need to go kill animals, and we need to get their organs. I think we can kill anything, right? Like he's talking. There's zombies outside the gate, and he's like, <laughs> "I've heard rumors." All right, let's just kind of like look around. I know there's a bunch of animals in this zone. There's a whole new uh, redone black burrow and everything, so we should be fine. Turn off pet goal, pet hold. There we go. We can get on there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Um, I don't want to auto loot everything. That will uh, that'll be annoying. <laughs> it's really what that'll what that'll end up being. Uh, there's a diseased rat corpse. Attack it. I guess I can't attack it. There we go. So these are level uh, 74. I've heard they're uh, that's a nice hog. 
they can be a little bit difficult in level, but, uh, yeah. Infected fire beetle. There we go. Infected organ. We need five of those. A gold nugget. That's a vendor item. Perfect. So we're just going to run around, find all these, and I think that once we get this one, we should be able to get some of the other quests from the other people. But uh, this is uh, supposed to be Quinos Hills. Uh, right here is the the lake, and there's Black Barrow. If you didn't know, <laughs> it's just a uh, different timeline, I believe, is the lore behind this expansion. And uh, we'll, we'll go through, uh, in one of my other series, we'll go through all that. Undamaged organ? That's not it. Blackened death cap? Alright, we, we shouldn't be looting things that we don't have a quest for actively because a lot of this stuff is not pre-lootable. Uh, so you, you have to re-loot it anyway. Look at that guy over there. What is he? Alright. He's not a rare, so I'm guessing he's for a quest. Yeah. Watch us have to kill him later and then not be he won't be up. Alright. What is that? King Snake. Need infected animals, I believe. Let's keep going this direction here. It's weird. Some of these things are like dead, but they're like they have they're like targetable and they're not actual corpses. Let's see what's over this hill. The wisp attacking us somewhere. <laughs> There's a bear. There we go, an infected brown bear and an infected wolf. There we go, perfect. There's another organ. That is a vendor item. Another infected organ, perfect. This is uh, working out pretty well. These mobs have... Uh, uh, I don't know how much hit points. At least like one or two hits, right? They hit for 21,000. Oh, I hit for 21,000, and they hit for, uh, uh, not enough to know, so. But I, I just really want to get these all, all these, all the Hero's Journey stuff knocked out. I've been doing, uh, I have been doing the, um, what you call it, so much. I don't even know what that's for. the um, open there we go <laughs> brown bear den mother what all right that's done petrified whoa look at this thing right here look at that that's some nice stats and it's tradable um i've been doing all the uh the earring quests for a, a little while now and uh getting all the tov stuff and i'm just kind of <laughs> kind of sick of doing the snow so i'm uh you know thinking i'll just knock all these out and uh get all of the uh try to get all of this uh hero's journey stuff completely knocked knocked out of the park there we go so we're gonna Try to start doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, so I suspect uh, we're gonna hit the 200th episode around the same day as my birthday, uh, and so that's kind of where I'm, what I'm kind of trying to hit if I getting some of these done. I'm not seeing any more diseased animals. That's my goal, and then uh, we should be 
once we get the hero's journey done, um, we'll probably go back and start doing the, uh, uh, the, what you call it, the, uh, TOV and COV quests, continue those, we're, uh, almost done with TOV, it's just a matter of a few more quests, so, but as you can see, this zone has a lot of things in it, it's just getting these diseased ones is a little bit rare, unless I'm just in the wrong spot. And these are, you know, probably about 40, 50,000 hit point mobs, uh, give or take. This is a diseased corpse. And if I do an open on this corpse, it gives you the undamaged organs, which you need for the quest. So that's what we did earlier. Just in case somebody didn't catch that. Yeah, so this is, it's like, uh, it's like a newbie area for, uh, Seats of Destruction. There's a guy in raid gear just power leveling a group, I guess. Sidearm. A lot of these players will be, probably disappear <laughs> very soon. There we go, there's an infected. There we go, one more. And another one. Giant rat ear. Don't need that. Giant rat claw. Might be blender item. I don't know. And don't need that. All right. Now we just need to go turn these back in to our guy. Maybe he'll let us do some more quests now. We should probably try to grab that quest while we're down there, but that's fine. All right. We're back at Taborn. Taborn. The brawn. Gonna hail him. Uh, he wanted these. Let's go ahead and hand those over. Deliver the undamaged organ. Which is this one. Alright, so we completed that. Your assistance in these dark times is much appreciated, Outlander. I can only hope we find a cure soon. So that we may ending end the suffering of these poor creatures. And we got a six hour replay timer for that. All right, so we got 40 of uh, currency. We're going to get some faction. We're going to get part of a multi, multi quest hog. And we're going to get uh, a lot of experience. All right, let's go ahead and hail him. Let's see. Tell me about the plague, my friend. He says, Welcome back, Outlander. Your efforts to aid our cause have not gone unnoticed, but the plague still persists. What about the plague now, my friend? The curing of this pestilence is my highest order. Karana demands it. All right, Salving Grace. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Collect. Whoa, gave us a bag. Collect. Okay, now we need those mushrooms, and we need bone dust from a skeleton. All right, let's go ahead and uh, hail her, maybe. Nope, she's not ready. She is not ready for the gnome regard. All the, all the plagues seem to have gone away. All right. So, we need a skeleton. Let's look at this real quick. Okay, I guess maybe it did, uh, it did, uh, it does count those. It just says collect. It doesn't say loot, so that's a little bit different. All right. I can't remember which one. I can't remember which one was the one dropping, uh, the mushrooms. I think it was the bats, right? Let's see here. Don't want that. That's a vendor fodder. So it's pretty much just run around again. Since we have to do these quests uh, in a linear fashion, it's a little bit uh, a little bit more work, I guess. That's saliva. That's a vendor item. All 
All right. Yeah, the thing's dead. An ocean green clover, which is another aug. Uh, I'm not sure if we actually need augs yet. I already have this one, so. I can't remember uh, all my hogs on this guy. I've been playing so many characters. Ah, it's a light stone. We don't want that ever. Yeah, let's go ahead and never loot that. There we go. There's the mushroom. And I know there's some undead down here, so... Let's run down there real quick and see if we can get those. All right, looks like it's just zombies. I don't know if they drop bone dust here, so we're just going to kill them real quick and see what they do drop. There we go. Oh, there's more over here. Perfect. I don't know more skeletons, though. Essence of Spectral Rage. That's a vendor item. It's probably another vendor item. Alright. Let's get those ones done. Alright. Is there any kind of call out to skeletons? I know the quest got uh gnolls are over there let's go right up see it says bone lord right over here yeah i'm looking just in the wrong spot oh there's one i have one skeleton is that it is that all i can get That's unfortunate. Hmm. Let's dismount for a second. And I'm also thinking when I uh, start doing the higher level stuff again, I'm going to bring my... Uh, I'm going to bring probably a mage, maybe my bard, and uh, just make it a little bit easier on killing... All these mobs and mass that we need to kill for those so I don't have to uh, focus too much on splitting things during the videos and stuff like that all right let's go ahead and get this guy's quest if he lets us sergeant Bronel Cadron glances at you briefly was there something you wanted this has become rather a dangerous area and we are having trouble Enough without lollygaggers like you hanging about underfoot. Make yourself useful before I lose my patience. Why is this place so dangerous? Did you walk here with your eyes closed? Have the raging animals and foul undeads somehow escaped your attention? We're in the fight of our lives, and you're here asking me absurd questions. If I hadn't sworn an oath of loyalty to the temperance to... Commander Bale himself, I would cut, or I would cuff you in <laughs> about the head and for such idiocy. Commander Bale? Again, with stupid questions. Antonius Bale is a great man and great leader, and he is the only one with the strength to bring us through these hardships. He talks of building a city here in these unmerciful hills a bastion for men to live in peace but that will prove mighty difficult if we prove we unable to defeat the blight that has fallen over this land now are you going to make yourself useful or am i going to be forcibly eject you from our encampment i'm a bit useful grumbles quietly make it back in one piece and i might be able to scrounge up some more work for you no regard man the defenses all right so that's uh that's gonna uh, we just probably killed that guy anyway uh but we need more skeletons so we'll come back to him and uh after we do this skeleton dust i don't know where they spawn though 
All right, we got a wandering soul. That sounds undead to me. Let's see here. Bats. Bears. Some diseased animals. Or diseased animals, so I don't think that is the right direction. Poachers. Let's go back down here. All right, looks like that Mag Magnus respawned, so let's go ahead and kill him for that other quest real quick and see if that uh, knocks that out. Because I'm not, I'm not fighting any undead <laughs> at the moment, so... Uh, not undead, but skeletons, that is. Looks like there was only that one uh, skeleton we saw for the Bone Lord there. Which is kind of weird. I mean, I mean, I must be just like running past some little encampment of them. There's something right there. Oh, it's these guys. Alright, let's go ahead and just turn this one in. Let's go ahead and hail him. See he luckily you were able to destroy the Magnus before he's presented an insurmountable problem. Got some faction? You've got some talent. I'll give you that. But it'll take more than destroying a paltry bunch of bones to prove your loyalty to me. <laughs> Alright, we got uh currency, we got faction, we got the multi zone og, and we got some AA experience. Let's hail him again. All right. Uh, we already read that, so let's say useful again. No cure for death. Kill 15 cultists. And this takes place in the other zone, so we'll have that for later. Yeah, so that it's in the other zone, but we have to, <laughs> we have to do it here. That's just hilarious. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to run around looking for skeletons and see if I can find some more. Because uh, right now, uh, there was only one skeleton. And we need that for the uh, for this, right? And it says Ocean Green Hills. So we'll find it and we'll move on from there. Alright, so <laughs> I think the, the skeletons only spawn during night. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and knock out this uh, cultist cure one right here. Uh, these guys should just drop fairly easy. Looks like they all drop money too. That's a nice little area. There we go. Let's kill. What do we need? Uh, a few more. And there's some skeletons over here. They might drop the dust. Let's grab this one right here. Putrid skeleton. Rusted blade fragments. Or no, we need reanimated bone dust. I get mixed results on the Alakazam saying what uh what works and what does not. The uh, one part of this says you can go here and get the bone dust. The other one says it only works in hills and it only they only spawn at night. So we'll find out here in just a moment. All right, a few more of these and we're done. Pretty much clear the whole place. What are these, level 74? There we go, that's done. So we're done with that. Let's go see if there's some more skeletons down over here. There's one over there, there's another one, perfect. Let's go ahead and send our pet on that one. And we'll uh, dot that one. So nothing there. All right, there's the town, so that's that. Oh, that's where Kinos, that's where Kinos gets built, right? So, like, I think the the gist of this expansion is uh, we went back in time, and we we're at the founding of like Kinos and all that stuff. 
I believe that's how it is. It could be an alternate timeline. But I'm pretty sure it is just... Uh, yeah, so these things drop here, so we should be able to find skeletons here. Ah, there's one. Uh, this one should, you know... This should be, vi you know, viable uh, option for that, but... Yeah, not yet. And those are all for another quest, so... Green seeds. That's another quest. So these are like the, the towers and stuff in uh, Quinos Hills, and I believe this is part of the wall. This is all Quinos, right? This is all inside the city. There's a crypt up here. Should have more undead in it. There we go. There's a putrid skeleton. I can't even target this. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's leave that. I wish I had uh, tracking. I don't see any. So I'm going to just keep looking around for more skeletons. We got that one quest knocked out. We'll go turn that in here in a second. Uh, but we want to try to find uh, these skeletons. Alright, so I can't find this bone dust yet, so we're going to go ahead and turn this uh, No Cure for Death quest into this guy. He, says, uh, he grunts in satisfaction. They want to get so close to their god of disease. Well, now their wishes are fulfilled. I hope they have a long personal audience with the Plague Bringer. Somehow, I doubt a god like that much appreciates failure. And it looks like we got another piece of the AUG and uh, some experience and uh, other stuff. That was pretty easy. Uh, I can imagine that being difficult at that level, though. Uh, so it's almost in-game nighttime, 7 p.m., and <laughs> Undead should spawn. So I'm going to run around, try to find the skeleton. All right, here's a skeleton. Hopefully he drops it. And he did. All right, perfect. And we're up here nor near the cave entrance to uh, uh, that part of the zone up there. All right, create samples. So we need to uh, find a bag we can actually move. All right, so I have no idea what the actual items are for this. So mushroom. Venom gland from snake. Zombie flesh. And that bone dust. There we go. And where'd I put our bag? Test the disease cure on an infected animal. All right. So let's put our pet on G hold so he does not. Uh, does not just kill whatever we're going to fight. And then as you can see, there's more undead spawning here at night. So that is something uh, something to keep in mind. There's an infected rat. Really? That's a long cast time. All right, return your findings to uh, Tabron. Let's get that dead. All right, perfect. And where are we at? We're right here. So Tabron is up this way. Perfect. This is seems like a pretty cool little zone. Uh, I'm definitely going to come through here on the monk and probably some other characters. Right, so I think we finish this quest. Go ahead and hail him. And he says, Do not view this as failure, no regard, but just one recipe. We no longer need to investigate. The cure for this horrible plague is out there. 
just waiting to be found. I vow not to rest until I find it. All right, we got attacked by another den mother, I guess, and another uh, range item we can't use. So let's just leave that on the corpse for someone. So we got uh, some currency, we got some faction, and another piece of that, and a little bit of experience. Perfect. All right, let's look at our quest. We need one more, test the waters, and then uh, two more from that lady down there. So let's go and hail him again. Let's tell him about the plague again and testing the waters. All right. Pick, pick up Tellred Special Vial from Morrison. Morrison? Where's this one at? Oh, this is in uh, Ocean Green Village. All right, so we'll head back there. And... All right, so we gotta we gotta deal with uh, all these quests before we can even talk to her, I guess. So I'm gonna head down to Ocean Green Village so we can uh, do this next part. All right, finally I found this guy. He's right here. Uh, we're in Ocean Green Village. He spawns uh, right here. He might be a roamer, but this is where I found him. So let's go and hail him. What? Oh, hello. I'm rather busy today. If you haven't noticed, I have no time for unannounced guests. All right. Uh, maybe special vials. Say Tabron. Oh, really? It's so I looked it up on Alexander. It's Tabron sent me. I would never in a million years figured that one out. All right, uh, let's put this in. What is this? All right, this is a bag, I guess, with stuff in it. There we go, we have vials. Okay, so collect a sample of water near the ocean. All right, sample of water, are these all the same? Oh, we have to click on the right one, okay. So, seawater, there we go. So we need from the lake, pond, no, pond. So there's a pond right over here. And the other two are in the other zone. Okay, perfect. So yeah, <laughs> this is a, uh, quite a, this is, a, this is just really interesting. Like you see all the names of all like the people that you see in Kinos. Uh, like their relatives or something. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, this is pond water. Really? There we go. You have to be a little bit deeper in it. All right. So the other two are lake and glade water. Uh, let's go back up to uh, Ocean Green Hills and get that done. Oh, there's a named. I am, uh, I'm like getting every single named <laughs> that I've, I've, I've just, it's hilarious. All right, we got a monk mask. Nice. Too bad I can't give it to her. Uh, I don't even know if that'd be an upgrade, but all right, let's, uh, head up to the other water sources. All right, we're here at the little lake. Let's see if we can get it right here. There we go. We got lake water and the glade, I believe is up in this area here. So I'm going to run up there. All right, and this is the glade. This is actually a pretty cool looking little area, right? Let's turn off the uh, UI. I mean, look at this place. It looks uh, phenomenal, really. Let's go like first person. I mean, you can kind of see there's like all these uh, druid looking mobs and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. All right, there's the last. The last one. There we go. Deliver all of these back to Mr. Tabaron, and we're done. All right, let's go I'm back here, and it's just right out this little corridor here. It's like a little windy maze of a cave. But uh, once you get through it, the uh, little village thing up here is right here. 
And I don't think this exists in modern day Kino Sills. I don't believe. I think this is the runes where Bazan spawns. I think, anyway. We just got plagued. All right, there he is, right up here. <laughs> the body's still there from earlier. All right, let's hand him all four of these. Like so. There we go. And we got, uh, see, it says. The, uh, oh, okay. Tabron hopes the water samples will unlock the secret of this horrible plague. He heartily thanks you for your help and mentions expressing your opinions of your work to many of the less trusting outsiders, such as yourself. Garvin, Windrunner, and Sergeant Kadran have expressed interest in putting you to work. He suggests you speak to them if you haven't already. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that. We got the same old stuff. I guess we keep that. Is this like uh, no rent or something like that? No, it's no trade. Ah, let's just drop that on the destroy button there. Voila. All right, so we add here achievements we just need the two quests from her there we go greetings gnome regard you are welcome among us as your actions show you to be a friend of ocean green even Bronnel has spoken well of your efforts something he is not won't to do for just anyone the light of the truth bringer surely follows your footsteps but enough with the pleasantries the spreading plague does not rest and so our struggle must continue the struggle is real tebron was rather impressed by your assistance in curing what in curing the plague <laughs> plague corrupting the beast across our land. However, I do not share his desire for peaceful resolution. Nathaniel Mar demands this evil's taint. This evil's taint. This taints destruction and destroy it we will. The time has come to take the offensive. Are you willing to serve Nathaniel Mar and bring the burning sword of truth against the followers of Bertoxilus? I am willing to serve. I am willing to serve <laughs> as we follow Batartress. All right, we need to kill eight. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> this is the wrong quest. Uh, destroy Zolin, uh, goblin ca or zombie catapults. I have other work for you as well. All right, so she's just going to give us the same quest. Oh, she gave us two quests, actually. All right, and I believe those are the two we need to finish this. Yep, there we go. All right, she so said a bunch of stuff, but it's not that important. All right, let's go out here and make this problem go away. Let's go ahead and kill all these guys. I'm going to dot the catapult there. Interestingly enough, you can dot a catapult. Didn't get credit for it, though. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get credit for it, but whatever. And... Destroy the corpses infecting the fortress. All right. It's one of these, right? Rot corpse. Yeah, that's these things. Okay. we go easy enough that one's done all right that quest is complete let's try meleeing this thing there we go <laughs> we have horrible melee but uh it might be exactly what we need to actually beat this thing. I don't think I've uh, kept kept up with uh, my dagger. I'm not piercing at all. 
There we go. I think we just killed that first one too fast. That's the only thing I can think of for that. There we go. There we go. I got one of them dead. And I don't see another one. It's kind of weird. Uh, I see this like weird thing going on here. <laughs> A little weird. All right, let's kill this guy here. Let's see if there's another one over here. No. What about over here? I don't see any more catapults. Let's go talk to her. Since I think we're going to have to wait for this to respawn, I suspect. Look at this. It's just like... Hilarious. My pet is in here killing them as they spawn too. But there's no more, uh, no more catapults here. So let's uh, go just talk to her real quick. I have to wait probably 10 minutes for these all to respawn. All right. Let's go inhale her. And we get more faction, more plate parts for the AUG, and uh, another 1% AA. So, we might get an AA out of all this at the end. Alright, so I'm, I guess I'll wait for this to respawn, because it's going to take a little bit. And then we should be able to finish this achievement. Alright, the catapult respawned after about, uh, looks like 10 minutes. Uh, so what I need to do is actually send the pet to kill it. Uh, that's the only way to get credit. Dots is what I did on that first one, and we didn't get credit for it. And we doesn't... There we go, we got credit for that one too. So, uh, keep that in mind if you're playing a necromancer and going through this. You need to use a, uh, pet to actually get credit for this. And, uh, there we go. And we can go in here and report back to uh, Archon. What is her? Althus. There she is. Dariana. Hail her. And uh, Archon Althus is quite pleased with your assistance against the plague overrunning the hills. As she looked for, looks forward to the day when they rid the land of this horrible infection. We get a bunch of experience. We get the Herald of Ocean Green Hills complete. And we get three uh, Paragon Silk Bracers. These are uh, the top tier, quote unquote, defiant type armor. So very nice. Uh, it's 800 hit points. Uh, so if you're in this range, this is like the best in slot you can get pretty much besides uh, the broken mirror stuff. But there we go. We got that and we got uh, more, more parts. Uh, more faction and uh, more experience. There we go. And we are done with the uh, Herald of Ocean Green Hills. And we're done with this video. So, thank you guys very much for watching. And have a fantastic day.